guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Noelle and today we are just going to talk a little bit about the difference between ordering from an international online store and a local based yet still online store. So you might not have noticed the difference between these two kinds of e-commerce portals. Um, for instance, there are so many um, sport apparel websites such as adidas.com.ph or underarmor.com.ph and even nike.com is forward slash ph so you think okay so they're all coming from the philippines right wrong there's a difference between these kinds of e-commerce portals and the ones that are run by local distributors of apparel brands for instance tobies.com which is the online portal for toby sports runner which also has its own online portal as well as a very strong instagram and viber presence um Nike, the local Nike distributor here, they have parkaccess.com.ph and there are a few more websites. I'm not, I, I have not taken a look, an exhaustive look at all of these things. So I just wanted to share with you what I have learned from ordering my apparel and shoes online for the past year or so. Being that last year was mostly spent uh, trying to stay at home um, due to our community quarantine status which is still ongoing. I am recording this on almost the anniversary of um, community quarantine coming down on Metro Manila and it looks like we really haven't learned anything from last year. I mean I'm talking about the government and the people in charge they haven't learned anything from last year because they're just doing the same thing over and over again which is the definition of insanity according to is that Albert Einstein <laughs> so anyway it seems that for the near and distant future we will be doing a lot of our shopping online and I just wanted to share with you the learnings uh, that I acquired from last year and just shopping online from there so let's talk about the international websites first so um, I'm going to be naming a few major ones that I have shopped at repeatedly over the last few years or so so that um, you know that I'm talking real things and not just hypothetical situations. Okay, so I named them already. It was Nike.com, it was Adidas.com.ph, and UnderArmor.com.ph. Now, just because they have PH in the URL doesn't mean that they're shipping from the Philippines. In fact, these online portals, as well as the marketing and promotions um, that involve these websites, are mostly run out of Singapore. <laughs> so uh, if you've ever bought anything from these websites, you would have noticed that the shipping would start in Singapore, shipping to PH, and then they have a last mile courier here in the Philippines to drop the box off right at your door. Some of the promos that run, or most of the promos that run on these online websites, you will not find in the actual stores that are here in the Philippines. Like for instance, there's a Women's Day sale happening on underarmor.com.ph where you can get 25% uh, off on a bra and bottom set. But you're not going to find that same deal when you go to an Under Armour store in a mall. And that's because, yes, uh, whatever the online store is doing is not related to what the local store is doing because they're based outside of the country and what happened was with some of these um, stores when ECQ the enhanced community quarantine came down last year they just had to deal with so many new logistical problems. Um, for instance, suddenly the entire supply chain or parts of it were shut down. I ordered something from adidas.com.ph back in March, and I think I got my package in either May or June. It had to wait for a lot of the restrictions to ease off and I couldn't ask for any redress from the local stores here because they weren't the ones who processed my order. It was all from Singapore. I don't know if Adidas has fixed their logistics problem and that they're able to ship 
more quickly to the customers. I noticed they've been running so many um, campaigns. I see their ads on Facebook and Instagram and I'm like I'm very wary of ordering from them these days because of that I, I was so burned by that experience last year. Uh, I have shopped at Nike.com recently um, and that's because they, they had a sale ongoing on a few items which included some Air Force Ones and I snapped one up. It was around 3,000 pesos but with shipping costs it um, ended up being around 4,000 something or other whereas uh, Air Force Ones in the local market at you know real Nike retail shops still go for about 5,800 pesos so I saved a lot by going online and I think they don't really have um, a big logistical issue anymore because I was able to receive my order in pretty much under a week's time so I mentioned the local online portals such as runner.com.ph, uh, tobies.com. I'm I think even JB Sports and Planet Sports have online portals at this point or you can there are some places that have set up presences on Instagram so you can actually shop on Instagram or drop your order on Instagram and they'll kick you over to Viber and then you can complete your order process over there which is exactly what I did with Runner when they um, when they put a number of their shoes on sale it was like about what was that? 40 to 50 percent off so i pounced on that um, i commented on their instagram post mine and they got in touch with me over a private message they asked for my cell phone number uh the store that had the stock of the shoe messaged me on viber and then uh, i transferred the money to their commercial bank account and then they sent me the package the next day via courier service but they paid for the courier service because my order was over a, a threshold amount and so that's one of the ways that you can buy things online from the local distributors of these brands I also have used parkaccess.com.ph which as I mentioned was the local Nike distributor here they have been like offering discount codes and whatnot and it's pretty it's been pretty amazing uh i bought my mom dance dancing shoes training shoes um during the height of the pandemic i think it was sometime in may or june i bought the shoes for her and they arrived really quickly because of course it's local locally sourced so the stock is here they knew that they had x number of pairs in this size so they were able to ship it out quite quickly and of course my mom enjoyed it so if you have shopped from both of these kinds of um, online shops you will have noticed a few differences between them which one would you shop from this or that I would say I would take it on a case-to-case -case basis and do whatever is advantageous to you as the consumer. Let me lay out the cons for shopping on the international e-commerce stores that ship to the Philippines. Number one is that it's not very easy to return the item if it doesn't fit. And that's because uh, you would have to ship it back to them, back to Singapore. I don't know if they have a local hub that receives uh, returned items and then they check it here and they just credit the amount back to you. So in these cases, I usually pay COD so that if um, I'm not in any mood to really take the shoes in, I can just refuse to receive them and they'll just take the item back that's kind of bastos no you ordered and then you didn't receive it another one of the cons to shopping from these international sites is shipping problems and delays which i have already detailed earlier so i'm not going to go further into that but yeah the item is coming from another country and if there's a break in the supply chain at any point then i'm sorry your item is going to be stuck somewhere 
Now here is the pro when you are shopping from these international sites. Usually they do have really deep discounts, especially when a new season is coming through. So they have to get rid of all of the old season products. So yeah, you will find that um, the stuff that is stocked on the website is, um, they usually have a wider range of stock than what's available locally. At the same time, um, if, let's say, the mother company of these companies, so Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, they're usually either headquartered out of Europe or in the US, and if they're launching a shoe, you will definitely be able to order that shoe on the online portal that services your area, unless they're not really releasing that shoe in your region. So yeah, you will have first access to these items. Whereas if you're getting, if you, if you want to get the item from the actual store or the, the local e-commerce portals, you have to wait for them to come in um, through customs here and through shipping. And sometimes there may be delays. Like for instance, uh, I, I announced like a shoe is, was launched um, recently, but then the the actual shoe will not be available in stores until a few weeks from now. So yeah, that's that's the one of the advantages of ordering from the international portals. Now let's talk about the local sites. Um, with local sites, you will notice, and this is one of the the cons of the local sites, is that. The stock and the range isn't really as wide as what's available on the international sites. That's basically just uh, because of the decision of the, the store itself, the distributors here in the Philippines, their buyers, their decision on what to stock and what not to stock. Also, they may have, like uh, like for Runner, they have a number of brands under their wing. So they're probably not going to offer you all of the different kinds of Nikes, all the different kinds of Adidas, all the different kinds of, well, they don't have Under Armour, but they might not offer all the different kinds of Brooks or Hoka's or all that. It's really um, up to what they're willing to import into the Philippines. What they project will have a lot of demand. And so that's what limits what the local websites will also put up as in stock. Now, because these local websites and distributors also do have their own little overhead um, costs, then uh, you will notice that the discounts that they offer are not really super deep. Um, like for instance, comparing park access to the Nike website, park access is not discounting the Air Force Ones while the Nike website has them on yeah, 20%, 25% discount. So that's a limitation caused by the overhead costs of actually bringing the stock into the Philippines, um, having the facility to store them here, in the number of pairs that they've projected, people will buy. So yeah, it uh, gives them much less leeway to cut prices. Now, one of the advantages of ordering from the local e-commerce websites is that the items are definitely going to be on hand if you order them. And yeah, ranging from next day delivery to within the week delivery, you are definitely going to be able to enjoy the item that you want relatively quickly. Also, if you have issues with sizing, uh, I think you may be able to return them in store and actually get an exchange. I'm, I haven't looked into that, but I, I think it would be relatively easier to get an exchange if you buy from a local website versus the international website. I've gone on for a little bit too long, but I just wanted to share with you the differences between the two so that you can weigh your options and weigh your choices. And also so that uh, you don't get mad at the local distributor because your international website hasn't shipped your shoe just yet and vice versa. <laughs> so you should know the source of 
where you're getting your items, your products, and address your concerns accordingly. All in all, I'm still really happy that we're able to shop online for items. I don't think you can really replace the in-store experience, especially when you want to fit a product that you've never worn before so you don't know if the sizing runs large or small and you know you can definitely make your choice before you buy the item before you uh, lay out your hard-earned funds to buy it and definitely I think satisfaction is higher when you're able to select in-store but being that we're all trying to stay home at this point then the online stores are the next best Thing. and I just want to make sure that you are taking advantage of everything that you can from these online stores and the convenience that they give you. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you have anything else to share, please leave it in the comment box below. Also, please subscribe to the channel so that you can see my next videos. Thanks again guys! See you next time!